welcome, welcome to the channel. Um, I just want to say a really big hi to everyone. And I just want to say thank you for being a subscriber this year. Thank you for being a, a follower of this channel. Thank you for your support, for your prayers, for your comments, for your feedback, for your emails. We really do appreciate you. We really do appreciate and are so grateful for this platform, for this this audience, this this opportunity to share the word of God and to share the prophetic word and to encourage you in the faith. And if we're doing that, please give us a thumbs up, let us know, and we'll keep doing it because that's what we're here for, is to really spur you on to follow Jesus as we're following him. And um, if there's a, I don't know, a standout video from this year, put it in the comments, let us know. Uh, what video really meant a lot to you. You know that Pauline, my mother, she shares prophetic words on this channel as well. We operate as a ministry together and, uh, you know, she she brings some really powerful words from the Lord and so it might be a video that she's done already. But, um, you know, we really appreciate this year and um, I just want to say as as we're going into a new year um, that God God is really about to bring us into a new season. And I don't say that lightly because I know in the prophetic world it's, it's easy to use language like that, like a new season transition and God's doing a new thing. But I really do believe that God is beginning to do something that he hasn't done before in 2024. <laughs> that rhymes, I didn't mean it to, but it rhymes. And uh, I did say on a video at, around Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah, that a new chapter is beginning. And uh, we've seen that with Israel and the whole world, in fact, it's gone a, a new direction that we never saw coming. And it's, you know, it's it's headline news every single day now. A new chapter has opened up for Israel and we're yet to see how it's going to fully unfold and uh, what, what the outcome is going to be. But for us, you know, as people, as God's people, I really do believe that um, a new chapter is beginning, unfolding for us. And I believe that a new season is upon us. And um, it's interesting because uh, my friend messaged me earlier this week uh, with a picture of a double rainbow. And he said, I've never seen a double rainbow before. Uh, I have seen double rainbows before, but my friend hadn't. And he said, it's amazing because we've been praying the night before and we've been seeking the Lord. And he was really encouraged by it. And the same day, I saw a double rainbow and the next day I saw a double rainbow. So I felt like God was really trying to say something through it. And I thought about my life and I thought about the, the past and I thought about how at significant points in my life at different times, God has revealed a rainbow. And, and sometimes it's been a, a real supernatural thing where I've seen a rainbow in the sky and there's been absolutely no rain. It's been a bright sunny day. It is a phenomena. You can look it up where you see rainbows without rain. And I saw one of those just before coming to Scotland. And that was well over a decade ago. And so I really want to encourage you that, you know, it's a sign that God is moving us into a new place, a new chapter, a new season. And I really believe 2024 is going to be so different. I, I really believe that we're going to enter into something new. I, I pray and hope it's the a new realm of the glory of the Lord. That's what we want. That's what we're aspiring to, new realms of God's glory. But what's interesting about the rainbow is it, it represents different things. And we, we know that because of Noah, because when Noah came off the ark, and I believe a lot of us are coming off the ark, a lot of us have been in a place of containment. You know, he was in the ark for over a year. And, you know, in some ways we could... We could say that we've been in a, you know, as a ministry in an ark type situation where we haven't been able to do all that we've wanted to do. We've been in a form of containment. Um, yet I believe that God is bringing us out, many of you out of his ark onto dry ground. And he's going to establish you in a new place, a new beginning, a new home, um, a new opportunities, a new land. And I really believe that, that that is happening now, that God's God's getting us ready, prepared for that. And um, what was interesting about the, the, the rainbow is that it was a sign of the covenant between God and Noah. And, you know, when I see a rainbow, I remember the covenant that God's made with us. You know, 
through Jesus Christ, through his blood. When we take communion, when we take the Lord's Supper, we remember what Jesus did at the cross, you know, and he removed our sin and he took away our shame. And I just want to encourage you to remember the covenant that you've made with the Lord today. And it's a sign that there's going to be no more global floods that are going to take out the whole world. That's encouraging, isn't it? You know, that, that whatever's coming on the earth, and we know that, you know, there's going to be major disasters and there's going to be major events. We know that the earth will never again be flooded like it was in Noah's day. And God gave a promise of that through the rainbow. It's also, the, the rainbow is a picture of God's beauty and holiness. Ezekiel 128, it likens the rainbow to to the, the radiance and the likeness of God's glory. And, uh, and you know, the, a rainbow surrounds God's throne in heaven. When we get to heaven, we're going to see God and we're going to see this, this kind of type of rainbow, this, this, this radiance around God's throne of light and color. And it's going to be just so magnificent. And so it reminds us of God's glory as well when we see the rainbow. And it's also a symbol of grace, common grace, that God's saying there's still time. Um, I'm not going to you know, pour out my wrath just yet. And people can still work, buy, sow, reap. They can still live their lives. Is that the common grace for the whole world right now, even though we're in the last days and we're about to see, you know, the, the very last days unfold. And it's an opportunity for salvation. And I believe that God is saying, you know, we're in the world and, and there's going to be shakings. I believe there's going to be stuff that's going to emerge next year. Uh, I won't go into that. I do believe there's certain things that are going to happen um, when you look into different uh, news outlets, media. Um, you can see signs of it, subtle hints towards it. And I don't want to be a fear monger because I'm, I'm not fearing what the world's putting out because I know my trust is in God. And I, I hope that your trust is in God, that you're not fearing whatever, you know, the enemy is planning right now for next year. I pray that you will stay in God's peace because he's promised to, to be with us. He's the great shepherd. He was the great shepherd in 2023, Psalm 23. He's going to lead us out of 23 and into 24. And he's going to open a new door, new doors of opportunity, new doors of, of blessing, new doors of protection and peace, new doors of, of fruitfulness in our lives. And that's why we need to, to always be ready with the gospel, ready in our lives, you know, having our lamps burning that we can share the gospel. We can be salt and light in the earth till Jesus comes back again. And again, that's a sign of the rainbow that there's still time, there's still grace to do what we've been called to do, to, to live for God, to see his kingdom come, to see his glory manifest on the earth. And, and so I pray for you. I thank you again for being part of this channel. Thank you again for, you know, your just your feedback and your comments. And um, obviously we pray for you and, uh, and, and you know, we're going to put out more videos. It's been a bit quiet for a little while, but we're, we're going to get back in, back in gear and we're going to share God's word. Uh, I know Pauline's got a few words that she's going to share very soon, even next week. And, uh, and God's laying some stuff in my heart right now for 2024, which I want to share with you. And also there are things in the pipeline that, that we're waiting to hear confirmation on, which is really exciting. And we want to share it with you as soon as we can. So just keep us in prayer that God will open the right doors um, at this time, even before 2024, the right doors will open and that we can all go through together in God's grace in God's favour, in God's protection and blessing, because he's good, he's faithful, and he'll never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Well, thanks for watching, and, uh, and watch out for more updates, and take care. God bless.